fine considerably since 1980 and is currently at historic lows. Um, for question two, which are, what are the patterns and drivers of white perch egg abundance in the Hudson River estuary? Um, egg abundance is sensitive to environmental, spatial, and temporal factors, including temperature, conductivity, discharge, depth, location in the river, week, and year. Um, and the outputs that we had for the interaction between river kilometer and week indicate those spotting hotspots in the estuary. Um, and just to recap that final question, outputs, the lower extent shows that the white perch, like lower extent shifting north, but that upper extent is not really moving significantly in our time series. Um, so the take home messages um, from this work are that white perch abundance has declined considerably over time in the Hudson River estuary. Um, it's associated with non-linearly with environmental, spatial, and temporal factors, um, and that like lower extent has been shifting northward. Um, and with that, I will take any questions. Hi, um, I'm wondering if now, just looking at this data set and your colleagues' data set. If there's a covariance between sewage, bay anchovy, and white perch, because you have three links yeah. on a food chain, all kind of moving yeah. together, and I'm wondering if you have a, some kind of continuum there that is affecting your food chain. Yeah, no, I think um, what the data set that Karin uh, told us about last talk, some, yeah, yeah. is something we definitely need to try to figure out a way to get access to. Because um, it would be great to be able to include more like, environmental variables. Um, and I, I haven't looked at any sort of like predator-prey interactions. Because this would be an amazing predator-prey, you know, why yeah. or why white perch on why, like, why or why uh, bay anchor. Yeah, and we've just started looking at eggs. Um, so it's like, in stuff looking at eggs. So going kind of up the, the like, history, um, something that those are the next steps that we want to take. Um, but it's taken a lot of work to get to this point. Um, and then, as you know, there's other data sets that target older life stages. And so figuring out how to incorporate the older life stages would also be, like, it, we have constant discussions about yeah. what to do with that. But there's only so much time in yeah. the day. <laughs> we have time for more questions.